morning guys this is day two we are about to get up we go have breakfast and then we're gonna go to the beach yeah this one's not spicy like the other one really thirsty Today we're testing out the La Roche Posay 60 SPF body and face sunscreen. They sent this to me, but I liked that it didn't leave a white cast so much that we went out and bought a big bottle for all of us to use. I have it on my face right now and I'm gonna put it on the rest of my body and the kids. It does not leave a white cast, so anytime that I see that sunscreen doesn't do that, I like run with it because unfortunately, most sunscreens will have us out here looking like ghosts. So this will be the first time we're using it like full body for an extended period of time versus just like on the face for like 30 minutes or so. I'm dressed for the day. I don't know if this is a great angle, but um, there's not like a full length mirror that I can find. But I just have this rib knit dress and I'm just wearing this right now as we go and get breakfast. Then we're gonna come back, load up the wagon in the car and I'll put my bathing suit on then. Um, yes. Proud mom moment, he got his donuts and said, let's thank God. Brennan and I got the same thing. I don't know if I'm gonna eat these hash browns, but they're uh, eggs benedict, but with crab cakes under the bottom. They look delicious. Look at, look at that. that cookie. Oh, my God. oh wow, yeah, that's huge. Wow. Move it yet. Is that a cookie blanket? It is. Do you want to sit on it? Yeah. Okay. Now let's go. They've really built this area up since the last time we came. There's like a whole parking lot now. The last time we came, we parked right here. And going into this area was all it, this was just nothing but sand and trees. Now we do the trek to the beach, which is kind of long. They have a red flag out right now. Well, of course I can hold your hand. So I don't think that we're gonna be able to get into the water. We're not quite sure why, but we're still gonna have fun regardless. Also, the wagon was 100% the way to go. We'll never go to the beach again without a wagon. Gorgeous. Ah, finally hit the sand. <laughs> she doesn't like the sand. <laughs> sand in my shoes. It's okay. Try flip it. Whoa! <laughs> we have the setup all up. So this is our tent. I can link it below if you want. Then we have our beach chairs. The wagon was amazing. Definitely recommend the kids chairs. And then we have the sport umbrella as well. So if anyone wants to lay down, they can. I have my chappy wraps inside of both tents. <laughs> and my father-in-law is having the best time. Perfect. It's perfect, huh? And yeah, so everything is going well. The kids are loving the sand castles. So they lifted the double red flag and we were able to take the kids into the water. The water is freezing. So now they're cold. We got out for some snack. Here's some water, baby. And here's yours. Okay. All right, so we're just getting ready for dinner and I got the kids dressed already. They took a two hour nap. They needed it because after we came back from grabbing that lunch, they were just grouchy and mean. So we threw them in the bathtub, got all the sand and yucky stuff off, and then put them in their beds. Brandon ran to Publix. My father-in-law went with them. I got the kids up, got them dressed, and now just finishing getting dressed. I don't even think I'm gonna do my hair. I'm probably just gonna brush it back so we can get out of here. Family fit check. My dress is from Mango. I did a big Mango shop before we came. Bash's outfit you would have seen in the last video is from, <laughs> stand back here, Old Navy. Margo is also Old Navy. Brandon is Masters polo that he got while he was there. Yeah, oh, J. Crew shorts mm -hmm. and- J. Crew shorts. Full on shoes. And my Hold shoes on. are my Hayden's from Steve Madden. We're having dinner tonight at the Citizen. Yeah, this is different. 
Yeah. Isn't it nice? Very unexpected. I know, right? So we just got a table got immediately walking in at the Citizen, which doesn't happen often. I think it's just the time of year we came as prime, Brand. but we're really we happy because we don't have to oh, wait, yeah. and it's 5.34, oh, yeah. so this is perfect. Yeah. This looks delicious. And Pop-Up got oysters too. I have the swordfish. What did you get? I got the jerk chicken. Jerk chicken. The kids got macaroni and cheese. Brendan got fish and grits. Perfect. Thank you. The food was so good. Now, I believe we're headed to a place called La Crema. And they have some good desserts. The kids kind of know we're going for ice cream, but they don't know exactly where. So I think this is going to be a good little treat for them. I really want to go into this shop because there's this blue dress right here. So gorgeous. So I might swing back in tomorrow because we're doing a little shopping day tomorrow. We have a little bit of time to kill. There's a little bit of a wait, which is good because we can walk and work off our food. So we're over here outside the Pearl. Beautiful. I'm gonna let the kids run around and play for just a few minutes. We're, we're getting down. Ice cream. Look that better? No. This is La Crema. What look at it. So pretty here. Thank you. That looks really good. What is that? La Crema Latte. La Crema Latte. Wow. Pop up got the salted caramel ice cream. Yep. Is it good? Yeah. Good. I have the cookies. I got the vanilla. Every you both have vanilla ice cream with chocolate mousse and whipped cream. Well, this one's cooked inside. Right now, as you can see, I've got my pajamas on and we are gonna go, me and Brennan are gonna go downstairs with my father-in-law and have a little drink, like a little glass of wine to end the night. But the day was good. Did you have fun today? Yes. Yeah, what was your favorite part of the day? The whole day. I don't have a really favorite part. I just like being with my family. Aren't you just a sweetie? I love you. Love you too. Good morning, we are on day three of our beach trip. Today is a shopping day. We're not going to the beach. We might go to the pool later, I'm not sure. Have not done my lips yet, so ignore. Makeup's not looking great today. Oh well, fit check before I say anything else. My top is from Nordstrom. My linen shorts are from Old Navy. Still with my Haydens. All jewelry is Ana Luisa. This in this this is today's look like i said for going around shopping blah blah blah. we're waiting for the rest of our party to arrive today which is exciting my sister should be here in like two hours my mom will be here more like four hours so it should be a fun day we just didn't want to be on the beach not able to get to them quickly when they get here so that's why we just plan this day to be like out around town so that we can easily meet up with everyone else and yeah i'm just gonna quickly pack up my purse and we'll be on our way oh, You hungry? Yeah. Yeah. I'll walk fast enough for <laughs> What? Oh, the rubber ducky on the wall? She sees the ducky. <laughs> and you know she loves a rubber ducky. <laughs> yeah. It's so pretty here. Okay. So we're sitting here trying to figure out who has, like if we have good handwriting with our right and our left. So Brandon just did it with his right. Now do your left hand. <laughs> Look at your shoulders. They're so tense. You, you've won because me and Pop-Ops are the worst. <laughs> so I started us off. This is my right hand. This is the left hand. <laughs> Pop-Up can barely get the, the crayon going. <laughs> Wow, I've completely gone off dairy and gluten free. We're gonna deal with that when we get back home. We all pretty much got the same thing. Pancakes here, Pop Up got pancakes as well. The kids got a Mickey Mouse and cake plates. 
and then Brandon got the grits. It's called Grits of Yaya, and that's what they're known for here. I also got a kombucha mosa, so it's kombucha and champagne. And Brandon got this thing called Five Alive, which is like a wellness drink. We are on our way now to do a little shopping. I think we're gonna head into the Seaside Style that's just down here, and then the kids wanna go back to that ducky shop that we passed on the walk-in. Oh, okay, look, Daddy's calling you over there. Oh, wow. I know. Oh, oh, Margo, go pick a rubber ducky. Wow. There's a unicorn one. Or did you want the superhero one? <laughs> unicorn. We're gonna go in here now after the kids just bled us dry in the candy store or the toy store. All right, let's do it. We are now stopping over at the donut food truck. Our friend advised that we go over to the grilled cheese food truck, but I don't think we're hungry yet for lunch, so we'll probably have to come back another time. I'm really loving Seaside, actually. We didn't get to come out over this way last time we were here, but it's so cute and just family friendly, and the kids have been loving it. Yeah, I Where did you get that? The Build-A-Bear. Build I remember you and Daddy used to get suckered into those all the time. <laughs> With you. <laughs> Hi. My mom is here, she made it. So now everyone is here. We're walking to go get some quick lunch from the hub because they're hungry. Since they just haven't had a chance to like unpack or anything, we're just gonna go do something quick and then we'll all go to dinner tonight somewhere. I think at George's called George's at Alice and the menu is like seafood. And then we'll see what we get into. I think we might go to the pool after we eat. I'm not quite sure. I'm just happy to have everyone here finally. So the kids suckered my mom into Build-A-Bear. We were just eating lunch over here again at the Hub and now they're getting their second Build-A-Bear of the weekend. You want this one? Okay, then we'll get this one. Okay. Maybe, oh this one, how about that one? That looks like a little church dress, Mom. That's okay. She I like this religion. one. This one goes better with her coloring. Okay. But we'll see. I mean, if Margot likes it. Mm -hmm. I left my mom in Build-A-Bear with the kids, so I'm gonna come over here, see if we can find anything cute. spent the last, I don't even know, like three hours over at the Hub. It was so much fun. We bought a whole bunch of different things, shopping stores. I bought a dress that I think I'm gonna wear to dinner tonight, so you guys can see it then. I bought a little clutch bag as well. And now I think we're gonna get in the pool for a little bit and then go to dinner afterwards. We just made it to, hey Boo Bear! We just made it to dinner tonight at George's at Alice. Yes, of course you can hold my hand. Here, hold my purse. Okay, we have no idea what the wait is like tonight. But yeah, we totally caught up. But um, yeah, we're just gonna sit and enjoy. The weather feels beautiful, so it won't be a big deal if we have to wait a little bit. I'm trying to be an Aperol Spritz girl this summer, so we'll see how that goes for me. This one is actually really good. I never usually like it. We ordered some cal calamari and lobster quesadillas for the table, and then everyone's dinner's coming out. Amanda, that looks so no, good. No, I didn't get that. I got the pork uh, uh, It's shrimp. You want one? You have fish, these are fish. Grits. Yep, mommy got grits. Of course you can. Okay, good morning. It is day four. I was just getting ready and my mom walked into our room and Brandon goes, Krista, come out here for a second. And I walk out the door after I've been dressed for the morning and in walks my mom in the same outfit. Stand back so they can see the whole thing. There we go. So my dress, I got it at the last second running into Target. I just thought it was a cute, like, put it on before we have to, you know, do something. So right now we're going to breakfast, so I figured this would be a good outfit just to throw on. My dress is from Old Navy. It's from last year, but it still works this year. So a surprise to walk out. And I guess it's not a mini me, but we look like twins today. We always yeah. look like twins. Always. Okay, so yeah, here are my shoes, and I'm not sure if you can see them. I'll just hold them like this. Charles and Keith slides, YSL bag, where are your shoes from? 
don't know if they can see I don't them. know. I think I may have gotten them from maybe DSW. I've had them for a while, yes. So yeah, that is our breakfast look. You're gonna get the skillet. Our signature dishes, conceived in love and baptized in a touch of butter. <laughs> I want to be baptized. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Just a little southern bell. <laughs> this is the oyster scramble. So there's eggs and a whole bunch of breakfast things underneath oysters. That's mine. And then most everybody at the table got a skillet with a. I didn't get pancake. grits this time, people. <laughs> On my Instagram, everyone has been saying like, oh wow, he must really love grits because he's got it like at the other two restaurants. So, yeah, and we need to put you straight in on Instagram on that one and let people know. <laughs> His is called the yard work. Bash got a waffle. Amanda and Keith and my mom have the skillet and Marco got that pancake that's right there. We're back out at the beach. What's wrong? You okay? Oh, baby. We're ready to play with our ball. Mm-hmm, mommy's blowing up the beach ball. It's gonna take me so long. <laughs> you need a pump. The beach. Everybody wants to have a lobster roll. Are you having one too, Brennan? I'm made now. Yeah, I think so too. Mom wants to ride the bike, so we'll probably do that. And then we'll all go to dinner later tonight. I really want to go back to La Crema after dinner, for Brennan. Dessert? Yeah, for dessert. Yeah, I mean, nobody's been there. So. Nobody's been except us. Well, my mom and Keith and Amanda haven't been. My yeah. father-in-law left this morning, by the way, if you're wondering where he is, but um, none of them have been to La Crema, is what I was saying, so it'll be good to experience that again, and then we're leaving in the morning. Anything you wanna say? Uh, you put me on the spot. I don't, I don't know <laughs> then say no thanks. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> that looks so good. It's about to go down. None of us have been on a bike in like, I, it's, 30 it's years for me. 20 years for me. At least 30. How long has it been since you've been on a bike? I don't know if I remember how. <laughs> how do you take off? <laughs> don't scream. Oh, she can't get her foot up on the foot. There we go. <laughs> Jesus. That's a good effort, yeah, that's good. She did good. See, I told her she could ride a bike. Both hands. I'm really scared. Whole body tense. <laughs> Relax them shoulders, good Lord. Mama says she, hands. no, look, like it's nothing. Move, move, got the speed, look at her. <laughs> All right, so it's been several hours since the bike riding. We are headed to Fish Out of Water for dinner. Here, you wanna hold this real quick mm -hmm. so I can show my outfit. My dress is from Abercrombie. Same Hayden sandals as always for this trip. And this bag I got yesterday at High Tide. I just saw a doggy. Oh, that's so sweet. Is that smile? <laughs> <laughs> this restaurant was recommended to us by a couple people, so we'll see if it's all that it's cracked up to be. No, oh, you know what, girl? I am so fed. It's the last morning. Everything has been packed up and we are getting ready to leave. We are now headed back to Donut Hole for our final breakfast here. It's been such a good trip. Everyone's very tired, but it's been a good, good time. Very good time. Yeah. Very Did you guys have fun? Yeah, everybody's packed in here like a sardine. Rolling with four extra Build-A-Bears. 
Yeah. And my mom and Keith and Amanda um, are all in their own cars behind us. Oh my goodness. First off, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've made it to this point, you watched one of my longer videos I've ever put out and I appreciate that so much. I'm gonna try to keep this Q&A pretty short. I did put a question box up on my Instagram while we were in 30A, just asking people if they had any general questions about the trip because I started to see like a trend in my DMs. The first question I got was not in my question box, but it was somebody asking like, how do I plan our vacations? Do I set the itinerary? Where is Brandon involved? Do I just tell everyone where we're going? Blah, blah, blah. So I think what I'm gonna do is create a blog post on my website, ChristopherBowmanRuth.com for 30 a put like everywhere we went, how I felt about each restaurant, all of that, because I did a lot of that on my Instagram, but not YouTube. Also talk about the planning process over there. And then I will also put these questions on there as well, but I'm just gonna stick to the question box questions since we don't have a lot of time. So the first one that came in, well, it was a comment and it said, stop sharing about it. It's already too populated. This is very important. 30 a is not new. People have been going there since before we were born. It is populated because you're going at the wrong time, which would be spring break or any time during summer break. We went during the school year and I don't think I saw anyone between the ages of six and 18 while we were there, not as a family going around at restaurants. We also got in tables very quickly, had maybe 10 to 15 minute waits at certain places, tops, and that's because we picked a good time to go. People, a lot of my friends don't go during the summer, they go in September and October. They'll go after spring break or they'll go right before the school year's over. You gotta work that out in your own time, obviously, because you don't want your kids missing school, but if you're worried about it being populated, it's not just 38, everywhere it's gonna be overpopulated if you're going when everyone is on vacation. So, so somebody said, does this part of Florida have lots of kid activities? I wouldn't say it's necessarily a kid activity place where it's just geared for kids and there's always something to do for kids, but there's a lot of things that you can do as a family that your kids will just enjoy while they're there. So a lot of the things that we did, my kids did as well. You can do a bonfire on the beach with s'mores. It's not necessarily for kids, but kids enjoy it, if that makes sense. So if you're going to look for like a high impact kid vacation this isn't the place for you but your kids will have fun on this trip plus there's a beach the next question is how is it there is it black people friendly did you feel comfortable there and i actually got a couple questions about like is it diverse and or their minorities and the truth is in at least in the times that we've been there it's not a super diverse place i did see out of all of the minorities more black people than say Asian or Indian or any other people of color. It was mainly just black and white. And out of those two, it was mainly just white. But I will say, I never felt uncomfortable. No one was ever mean. It was never unfriendly. It was definitely not racist or anything that would make you not want to go there. I never once experienced that. Everybody is so nice there, everyone. So don't let maybe being one out of 10 be a deterrent from going because it's still a great time. So that's all I have to say about that. The Airbnb you're staying at, totally understand adding it into the vlog winter home, but we stayed in the Prominence neighborhood and you can rent homes out of that neighborhood. There's several for rent in there. We booked through Marriott Homes and Villas or Panhandle Getaways. I trust them, especially the Marriott one because it's Marriott. And I'm sure that there's other ways to book homes. I know that there are other Airbnb style companies. I personally don't trust Airbnb, so I wouldn't book a house through Airbnb, but I would through a more reputable company versus a landlord to a, a renter situation. How do you travel to and from 30A, drive, fly, etc.? any popular things that you found overrated? Nothing there that I found overrated. Everything is fun. You, you kind of make your own fun and you just do what you want to do. There's not one major attraction in my opinion that you must do. It's leisure life. So you can golf, you can swim, you can go to the beach, you can shop, you can picnic, you can, it's just a fun, slow beach vacation. And there's a ton of restaurants and a ton of things to stay busy doing. So there's nothing there that I personally find overrated. Yeah, it's just a very leisurely vacation. You can't really go wrong with that. As far as travel, we live about five and a half hours from there. So we drive each time because it doesn't 
make sense for us to pay for plane tickets and then rent a car. There is an airport, I think it's about an hour away from the house that we stayed in that you could fly into if you wanted to. But yeah, overall, most of the people that I know who go to 30A just drive, but that's because we're all coming from Georgia. So I think that's pretty much it. The rest of them are kind of just people just saying how much they like 30A or recommendations for places for us to go. But we love 30A. We're probably gonna make it an every other year trip for us just so that we can experience other vacations in between. But I want my kids to remember coming regularly. And then I would love to continue vacationing there when they get older. And one day I would love to have a home there as well. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you have any more questions about the trip, put them down below and I will include them in my blog post. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.